Ready, go. Ready, go. So here, let's see the front plane here. So basically what I see here is you're just spinning in the backswing here. So you're not really letting the pelvis move away from here, simply turning like this. Mm. So the so the right hip is moving backward, mm -hmm. going this way. Yep. And then the left knee is coming in here like this. Mm -hmm. So when this happens, you cannot use your right leg that way. Oh. So okay. you have, to have a good loading onto this side, and then push the ground and then shift it to the left. But instead, what you, what you chose was as soon as you start the back swing, turning this way here. Yeah. So the leg is uh, straight, but but hip is moving backward here. So it's hard to interact with the ground. Okay. So yeah. this is um, so uh, you know, you, uh, many people are just afraid of uh, shifting away, mm -hmm. so they just uh, cho uh, choose to uh, spin around. Then in terms of uh, the ground reaction force, the force coming from the ground, when you spin around like this, then generally the center pressure where the force is acting stays uh, middle of the stance here mm -hmm. is always vertically. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, passing near the center of mass, then you don't have much torque in this plane here. Mm -hmm. So when you shift away and then push the ground, so you have good lateral motion like this, then you can push the ground laterally, so the force inclines, that gives you a good uh, torque generated. But if you spin mm -hmm. around, the force basically comes this way here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also when you spin, the, what happens is that generally, the hands go uh, low here. Your swing, uh, back swing is not too flat, but uh, still you have a tendency of going fairly low here yeah, because you are spinning around like this. Yeah, so your body is uh, fairly shifted already toward the target. Mm -hmm. And then also when this happens, uh, you cannot use the left leg that well to the down swing either. So okay. the best way to use the legs is you should have you have to repeat unloading and loading. So if you're standing on this side, supporting your body with the right side, then you have unloading mm -hmm. happening on the left foot here. Mm -hmm. And then later when you step on it, then you have loading. Mm -hmm. For the for the trail foot, you have a loading and after that unloading. Okay. So essentially, uh, this basically gives you a stepping like action. But if you shift it this way here, and then lean this way, and swing. When you repeat this swing continuously, then if I use a walking as an analogy, mm -hmm. when you have a reasonable shift to the right and then have a good stepping like action, then you're just walking like this. But if you spin, shift the early this way, swing. When you repeat this swing here, then it's like walking like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then when that happens, you cannot use the right leg much, right? Mm -hmm. the, also the left leg because it's under constant loading. So you cannot really push the ground that hard. Okay. Yeah. So in order to push the ground hard, then you have to have an unloading, loading, repeating. Mm -hmm. Then the muscles, when you load and then push here, then the muscles will be uh, lengthened and shortened here. That way, you must can generate large force. But okay. if you keep loading on this side here, it's hard to uh, push the ground mm -hmm. that hard. So, so uh, spinning around is probably the main thing you need to change here. So, as a result here, if you look at the, the down the line view here, it's going flat here. Yeah. Because uh, you will let the pelvis go backward here. Mm -hmm. So the spinning around, that's why you tend to have a flat backswing here. And then naturally, you have a slight uh, crossover here. It's not too bad. A lot of people, they go here and then later lift this and so on. The right elbow comes up here. But in your case, it's not too bad. If you look at the right elbow position, this is, this is okay. Mm -hmm. So you have slight uh, crossover position. It's simply because you're starting this way too early. Okay. But in terms of the arm position, it's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and then in the down the line, you will see that your right leg is completely straight, mm -hmm. but this is actually the hip is moving backward. Mm -hmm. 
So you're turning the body like this instead of. Mm. So it's the same leg push with the extended knee here, but this versus this here. Stand on the right side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a big difference. When you stand on the right side, then you will be able to start the downswing with the right hip and then let it go. But if you spin around here, then you just have to use the upper body. Mm -hmm. You don't have much support from the lower body. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, uh, you know, when people emphasize the importance of uh, extending the knee, but this is uh, because you're moving your hip backward here with that fully extended leg, this won't help that much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we need to change this. So overall, your arm position is, is good at the top, but you tend to uh, spin the body around too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's start with um, the rope swing, and then we'll try to uh, sort of manipulate the, the direction you're throwing the rope. Okay. okay. So you will swing the rope back and forth, give enough speed. What I'll, what I'll do is I will stay on the left side of the target. Mm -hmm. So on the way down, uh, stand on the mat. On the way down, try to throw the hands and the rope toward where I am. Okay. Yeah, that means you have to overall adjust this plane here. Mm -hmm. But in the back swing, if you go, if you turn this way too much, then the downswing will go this way here. So in order to adjust the, the swing plane, then you have to change or you turn less. Mm -hmm. So instead of bringing the hip backward, try to go laterally, mm -hmm. move the hip laterally more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're swinging back and forth. Aha, so here, back swing remains the same. Back swing remains the same, but what you did was uh, go here and have pose, turn this way and then swing. I did, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it should be continuous motion. So now, still back, your back swing is uh, inward and then, so when you maintain this motion, and then somehow in the downswing, if you uh, swing the rope this way, that means your upper body is uh, moving quite a bit. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Too early. So you have to change the, the body posture at the top of it. Instead of leaning that way, mm -hmm. leaning that way, go to a reverse field posture. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to feel that. Yeah. Um, Okay, so let's do this. Put this on your shoulder, okay, back of the shoulder here, and then assume the setup position, and then try to turn the shoulders as if you are doing the back swing. So in doing that, in doing that, if your upper body leans this way, mm -hmm. naturally you will have inward back swing here. So oh. as you turn. Let the pelvis go more this way, and then up the, basically the head may stay where, where it was, mm -hmm. just by moving the right, the pelvis to the right reasonably, mm -hmm. automatically you are going into this reverse field posture. Mm -hmm. And then after that, have the feel of just dropping your body slightly leftward. Okay. So you don't have to go too much this way here, but rather having just feel of slightly dropping your body this way. Mm -hmm. Then you will be able to turn reasonably and also recenter at the same time. So go here and then drop the body slightly this yeah, way. Yeah. And then on the way down, on the way down, instead of sliding the pelvis here, keep the whole body dropping this way. And then turn it. Your currently your pelvis is sliding this way too much. Oh, forward, okay. Yeah, because you have this tendency here and then slide this way. So your pelvis should go away and then simply recenter, okay, instead of sliding this way a lot. So yeah, your downswing motion is always uh, you're going this way first. Uh, yeah, like that. 
So the whole upper body is uh, kind of dropping on this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then have that feel, and then so if you can go to that position, then automatically the inward backswing can be uh, cured. Ah. Because instead of going this way here, in terms of body motion, instead of going this way, you're going more this way. Yeah. Reverse spirit ball. And then, uh -uh, so you're still shifting this way too much. No need to shift that much. Oh. So go here, shift away, yep. and then slide recenter. And from there, just to try to turn instead of pelvis going out this way here. So imagine here's a wall here. Mm -hmm. Your pelvis cannot go any further. So just, uh, just to go through the reverse pivot posture here, slightly uh, drop the body this way. So the pelvis has to be here instead of yeah. sticking out like this. And then, and then from here, just throw. And Swing on this side, uh, on this side, when you do downswing, your hands are coming in all the way here. Instead, throw. Pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. Your goal is to just to throw the rope. The back swing is too slow. The back swing should be faster. Ah, it's too fast, too fast. Yeah. So overall, the motion should be continuous. And it's a really big motion. You're thinking too much. So throw, throw, swing, swing, wind up, swing. Make the, the body motion more rhythmic. And as you, as you do the swing, have the image of turning your upper body about the spine axis and using the good leg action here. And then just to turn, turn, turn actively instead of sliding the pelvis and the shifting this way a lot. Use the legs and the push, push, push. Still, still you're going too, too much inward. So with that, your pelvis is, uh, the, your hip is going backward. So more than anything, more than anything, if your upper body leans this way, always you're going that way. If your upper body leans this way, the pelvis has to slide automatically. So you have to move the pelvis enough this way here. And then also keep going this far is too much. Rather, using the leg, pushing the ground the good down and out with this going here. Bring the hip up, the, the right hip up. So again, put the up in front of your body and then shift it to the right slightly so that right hip goes up, uh, above the uh, right foot, about there. And then turn around the right, right hip here. So, mm -hmm. when I do this, you should have a good support from your leg. This is what you need. Yeah, the right leg should support your body really well, instead of hip going backward. Yeah, so the motion doesn't have to be really big. It's just uh, about this much here. Shift, shift, push, push. Push, push, instead of sliding. And then the right leg, instead of just uh, standing like this, push, push, push. Yeah, so as if you are a conductor of an <laughs> orchestra, okay? The instead of going one, two, three, four, down, down, rather, one, two, three, four. 
up, this side up, this side up, 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 up. So the leg action should give good push to the ground. With that, you are moving the hip up, up. And always you keep the right shoulder low. Uh, but uh, let's go more this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, lift your arms up and then give me T-pose. Yeah, stand up, st stand up and then T-pose. You see, you have right side, your right side is low. No, 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 not that far, but uh, just uh, give me the T-pose. You, your tendency is right side is always low. You may have uh, sco scoliosis in your oh. spine. Okay. So uh, you may want to uh, check this with your chiropractor. Okay. Okay. What happens is uh, you always try to keep the right side low here. Going this mm -hmm. way here. Swing also. Mm -hmm. Hands going this way. And then always right side low. That it forces your spine always going this way. So. Uh, when you initially do this, right side is low. The right shoulder is low. That means uh, you do have uh, scoliosis. Yeah. Okay. So again, so try to have a more symmetric motion both ways. So bring the right right shoulder higher instead of uh, low and the backward. Yeah, so you lift, lift the shoulders a lot higher. So go in the back swing. Go almost this way here. Mm. Turn this way, and then turn here. So you do have bias because your shoulder is uh, lower. Um, but they keep pushing, pushing, pushing uh, with the legs, push, 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 yeah. So with this, with this what happens is, if you have a full body mirror in front of you, they put two tapes going this way, so keeping this uh, sort of a triangular shape here. The inside, as you move your pelvis actively, laterally here, your, your head is not moving, moving that much. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to confine your body motion within that space here in the image. Or outside, keep the sun behind you. Oh. Then your shadow will be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Put the two sticks on the ground. That will again give you triangular shape. Then try to move within that space here. By using the legs actively. Push, 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 push. And then also when you turn the shoulder, the shoulder turn is coming from good leg action. Mm -hmm. By pushing the ground good, with this push and then turn, and then with this push and then turn, 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 turn. So the shoulder turn is coming from the leg actions. Mm -hmm. Instead of intentionally try to turn your shoulders. Both ways. And as you do, try to uh, limit this motion here. So currently, you go here, still coming in this way too much. So just uh, push as if you have a, a, you know, a barrier here. Mm -hmm. and then push, 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 push. So keep your body within this space instead of uh, sliding the hips a lot here. Use the leg, more active leg action. The leg action will give you good shoulder turn. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah, so now let's dance with me. I will start from a slow tempo first, but the bigger motion. Then as we go along, I will increase the tempo. Okay. Make sure you match my tempo. So left, right, left, right. Throw the arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do not try to do this. Just, just throw up and then drop it, and then throw up. Yeah, just the throw, and then follow the shortest path, path. Instead of go up and then try to uh, turn around here. Go up and drop and go up, up. 
Yeah, that's a lot simpler. Part of the reason why your pelvis is shifting this way too much is because for up, because you're going in this position here, for that your pelvis has to slide away to make room for your arms, uh, arms coming down here. So go up, 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 up. Yeah. And use the, use the legs actively, left, also left leg here, instead of intentionally try to turn the pelvis here. Push, push, push. Bring up, bring up, left up, right hip up, left hip up, right hip up. Yeah. Ah, uh, the still you have a little bit of uh, going this way here. Yeah. So now uh, let's uh, try that one. So uh, we'll go from uh, peak motion with the slow tempo. But eventually, I will increase the tempo. Try to match my motion. So throw up, up, throw up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, now you are using the legs. Yeah, yeah. So the only way you can measure the temp is have legs actively. Push, push, push. Yeah, again, large motion, slow tempo, and then start increasing the tempo by using the leg action. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, fast, even faster. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, in order to do that, instead of swinging the arms here, you have to kick, 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 kick. So the leg action is really important. So you remember that. So as you do the rope swing, again, it's coming from leg kick instead of kick the ground and then throw the rope that way. And then pay attention to how your pelvis is moving. Is that the right hip is going backward versus okay. Now keep the arms here, lean forward, and then shift the body to the right and then turn there. And then with the left foot do this. Yeah, if you can tap, 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 tap. That means uh, your right, right foot is supporting your body. You have to have that feel here. So during the back swing, during the back swing, lift the left the heel, mm. and then as you lift, instead of going this way here, just lift and then shift it to the right. Oh, mm. you are going like this instead, of just just here. So lift the heel, then yeah yeah like this. Then your foot will not be able to. Support your much weight here. Mm -hmm. You have to shift it to the right. That's a really good for that. So doing the back swing, yeah, lift the left the heel. The automatically, you will shift it to the right more. Okay. Yeah. Now, using the rope, as you go in the back swing, lift the left the heel. And then also you have to you have to free your arms a little bit. It's too rigid right now. But like this position is so strange. Let's add the arm motion at the end. Add the arm motion at the end here. So the body will drive everything. And then add the arm motion. Body and then arm motion. Add the arm motion at the end. So free your shoulders. It's too rigid. Increase the back swing speed. Oh, it's too much, too much. Connect. So curtain is a bit whippy, uh, uh, snappy. So, ooh, let it go. Ooh, let it go. Instead of whoop, 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 
or slow book, slow book, not this. Ooh, let go, ooh, let go. Give more effort in the back. Ah, 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 here. And then also, also, pay attention to motion of the end of the rope. So uh, the rope is part of your body. When you try to swing backward, it's not about just the hand motion here, but it must be end of the rope motion. Throw the end of the rope. You have one more segment there. So you have to control the, how the end of the rope moves here. So if you feel the motion of the end of the rope, this is the motion here. Okay. So instead of uh, quickly pulling the hands here, you have to throw the end of the rope first here. Uh -huh. That way you will be able to prevent pulling the hands in. Okay. So control the end of the rope motion. And, and also, also, also here, in the back swing, your hands are going too much in here. Instead, you're not hitting the ball with your hands here, but at the end of the rope here. Turn, throw, 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 throw. You have to use the speed of the end of the rope instead of hands dragging, dragging. too much here. Oh, okay. So time, you have to time in such a way that that uh, the end of the rope really catches up, catches up, catches up, instead of hands leading too much, mm -hmm. both ways. Mm -hmm. You have to wait until the end of the rope catches up. Your goal is to move the end of the rope fast. Ah, it's, it's too, uh, too, uh, too snappy, snappy, snappy. Oh, yeah. not risk. Use the body up and down, and then use the shoulder turn good instead of pulling the arms in. And they have good gaze control. Keep your gaze on the ball or the teeth there. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, yes, yes. A lot better. Now the so you are controlling the rope a lot better now. You really have to control the end of the rope moving around you, but instead of arms going in too early. Mm, wait until this goes around your body. So your goal is to move the end of the rope around your body and then ends up here. Swing and then here, swing and here. Instead of... So you have to, so time, the motion of the end of the rope instead of your body motion. Mm, let it go around, let it go around. In the back swing, you're going too deep, too deep. So it's a, the back swing is quite inward, so you have to pay attention to that. Have a consistent swing play. So in the back swing, instead of dragging everything all the way in here, you are simply using the speed here, throwing the rope. Using this speed, speed here, throw the rope. But from here, if your body turns too much too early, before the rope picks up speed, you're already pulling in here. So you have to throw here, let it go. Here also, throw here and then let it go. Let it go here. So you have to use this side to speed up the rope, and using that speed, we have to throw it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's getting it's getting jerky. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to throw the rope this way here, from using this motion here, and then throw. Throw here, throw, throw using this motion here. By using the speed at the bottom, you are throwing the rope. But if your upper body turns too early, 
before this hits the bottom, the developer speed here, you're definitely pulling it in. Okay. So using the motion of the rope here, let the rope go more laterally. Ah, ah, when you start the back swing, the rope is not moving much. Have, the rope is still here, and you already pulled it this way. Here. Mm. You have to wait until this comes here and then throw. In the back swing, the back swing, instead of quickly bring this in, you have to let it go. Swing as if you are swinging to the right. You are left, left, uh, lefty here, and try to swing that side. There, your hands are going too, too early. If you swing that way, you see your hands are going too early here. Your hands are way, going way ahead of the rope here. Instead, this way, instead of, you have to let the rope develop speed here. Using that speed, let it go. Oh, 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 oh. So here, here. Let the yeah, let, still, yeah, let the rope go more this way here. When you start, when you start the back swing, let the rope build speed here. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing, what I notice is that you are not really maintaining the connection between your hand and rope at the end here. You still have to maintain this connection so that you can start the motion here. But go up here, rest here. You have to maintain the connection between the arm, the hand and the rope all the way, continuously. Still at the end here in the transition, here in the transition, you still have a connection here. Instead of go here, rest and then quickly turn the body like this. Mm -hmm. If you maintain the connection, you can throw this way. Go more wide around. Go more wide around. Instead of try to quickly turn the body. Yes, the connection is now a bit better, yes. It's a bit better. Yeah, both ways you have to consistently control the rope motion instead of losing, losing the connection. Uh, the back swing is getting deeper in, 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 in. So you have to control the swing plane here. You have to image the swing plane, mm -hmm. which connects the ball and the, the mid section with trunk here. So if you image this plane, make sure you swing the rope along that plane. There are two possibilities. One, your image of the plane is already shifted this way. Then you will keep doing that. As if, uh, although you think you are moving it correctly along the plane, yes. that's one possibility. Or, although you image the plane more going this way here, but in the back you keep pulling it. So you, you cannot really uh, you know, follow that plane. But either way, it's a problem. So have good image of the plane. And then try to move the rope along that plane. Swing, keep swinging. Swing, swing. Now oh, here. So you will see what you're doing here. Pay attention to how you start the back swing. Okay. See how you start the back swing. Oh, wow. okay. Swing, swing. Got it. So at the beginning of the back swing, So this is the at the, back, uh, the at the end of back swing to the down swing. 
this is okay, but you go up here, and then when you start the backswing, the rope will be dropped quite a bit here already, you see? Because you're not keeping the connection here. You lost, you lost the tension here. Mm -hmm. So, once you finish this motion, and as you start here, you lost the, the, the tension here. Quickly, your body is turning without pulling the rope. Your body is quickly turning. So by the time the rope is uh, catching up, your hands are already in here. So from here, from here, when you start the back, you still you have to maintain the connection with the rope. You should be able to influence the rope motion and then let it go around instead of drop to this position already and then try to pull here. So you are losing that connection here. That's why I keep pulling it. So okay, let's go to uh, let's go to the, uh, the end of the downswing. Here. So go all the way and stop there. Stop there. What if I pull it this way and then you start the the backswing? Then you will have to work with the rope, right? And then if you pull that way early on, then the rope will go around here, so you can throw it. But because you don't have this pulling action here, from here, what happens is from here, you're just dropping the rope already to this position here. Mm -hmm. And then try to pull, you're going inward. So you have to pull the rope from here, using the, uh, not the arms, but using the body. Using the body turn, and then throw here. You have to start the, uh, the back swing well with the body turn here. So uh, keep keep swinging. Uh, let me record this uh, from the back. Keep swinging. Keep swinging back and forth. Swing, swing. Okay, start. So the thing is, you are not giving enough turn here, and the you're not letting the rope go all the way around. When the rope goes fast around, because the rope is going that way, your hand up holding it, then you have tension. You can influence the rope motion. But at the end, the rope, just the uh, speed dies out. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, you lose the connection. Swing, swing. So you're going to the downswing, swing here. It just falls here, you see. From here to the next here, you don't have much pulling here. So here, you're not really influencing the motion of the rope when you start early in the, in the backswing. Mm -hmm. So what happens is um, your body turns quickly. Your hands are already here, deep in here. Mm. It's not about this side. When you go from the, from here and then going backwards here, here, here. As I said, no, 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 don't go like this. But as I said, tr in your image, try to move the rope ar uh, around your body, making a large arc here. Instead of quickly turning the body like this, rather, let the rope go around your body here. Both ways, swing, swing swing around your body. Okay. Let it go as far, but that doesn't mean that you are lifting your arms here. Still maintain it, but have the feel of uh, letting the end of the rope go far away from your body. Make a large arc all the way. Make a large arc all the way. No. So, so uh, downswing is okay, but in the back swing, when you start the back swing, you're quickly going here. You're losing the. That's better. That's better.
and then make sure you are swinging the rope along the same plane back and forth, consistent plane. Now the vector control is a little better. Yes, yes, yes. Now I. Yeah, you are letting visual, letting go, visual. letting it go that way, so you can maintain the connection and influence the rope motion. But if you go and you quickly turn at the beginning of the backswing, you quickly come to this position. Before the rope kicks up reasonable speed, you already turn the bar this much. Then all you need, all you can do is just pull it in. Okay. So if you develop good speed here, let it go around your body. Then no need to pull this in. Simply. Let the rope go. So both ways, you are throwing the rope both ways. Yes. Yes. So when you, if, when you maintain that influence in the backswing, then you don't have to pull that in. <laughs> because you now have a reasonable speed here already. Using that speed, you are throwing. That's good. Let me record from here. So keep reasonable speed back and forth, and then make the motion continuous. Maintain the influence on the rope motion continuously. Yes. Swing, 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 swing. Whoa, look at this. Good, good, good. So now, your back swing is a lot better. So that's how you do it. Even with the club and whatever it is, as you start the back swing, you have to throw it and let it go instead of pull this in here. Mm, swing, 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 swing. Oh. Yeah, the beginning of the back swing is a lot better now. So that's why you have a more consistent plane back and forth. Once this is done, then we can adjust the direction of the swing plane. So I'll stay on the left side of the target, try to swing toward me. So you have to overall adjust this this way, but still maintain good influence on the rope. Yeah, your rope control is a lot, a lot better now. Particularly in the back swing, you really swing around, swing around, swing around. Swing, swing, throw both ways. Throw, 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 throw. okay. Yeah, so that way we can adjust the backswing plane. So when you have uh, severely inward uh, backswing here, because uh, you are you lost the connection, always you try to pull this in and then try to lift here. But if you have good body motion and then throw, then naturally you go more laterally, go around because of the speed. Throw, throw, throw. Throw, throw, okay. Now the overall rope motion is a lot flatter. But still at the beginning, the rope is dropped here. Because you don't give enough rope motion all the way here. So both ways, both ways, you swing the rope this way, the rope has to go, come this way. In the back swing, the rope has to come this way. So give more rope motion all the way. Your goal is not to swing here and then rest like this, but rather you swing all the way in to this position. And then because of the speed, the rope goes here, and it still stays here, then you throw, you can maintain this tension here and then throw. But if it slows down and then come down, the rope drops. So let go all the way around, all the way around, so that you always have a control or influence to the rope. If it slows down here, it drops. You will have enough uh, influence, so uh, both ways. So let the, yeah, let the end of the rope go all the way around your body. Hmm. So 
So that's the idea. So then that means you have to add the extra shoulder turn at the end. Instead of just go and slow down here, turn and then let it go all the way in. So this is the idea. With that, you have a good shoulder turn, wind up and then let it go. Wind up and then let it go. That way you are using more body driven swing instead of using the arms. Okay. When you spin around here, and then slide in the swing, it's fairly coming from your arms. Mm -hmm. But if you turn the wind up and then throw, wind up and throw, it's coming from the body, no need to slide the pelvis that much. Connect, connect the both the swing back and forth, con continue, one continuous motion all the way, swing. So that way you will engage these muscles more than these here. So you will have more body driven motion. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. and now you can really control the rope motion a lot better. So then as you repeat this motion continuously, and have a rhythmic, rhythmic leg action, throw, turn, throw, 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 throw. In my case, the rope hits my uh, chest here. It turns and it hit here, turn here and then hit here. Although I'm not swinging that rigorously, but still I have reasonable speed, so I don't drop the rope. It keeps moving along this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you don't have uh, the tension there, mm -hmm. so it just drops. Mm -hmm. Let the rope go using the inertia of the rope. If the rope wants to go away, you're holding it, then you already have tension here, and then you'll go around your body, then go all the way from here. Still, the rope is here. So you have tension here, and then throw. Yeah, let the rope go all the way around your body, then throw. Yes. That way you are using your body more. And then what you do is uh, just that they connect the back string to the down string. Ooh, 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 ooh. So instead of stopping, instead of having pause, mm, ooh, 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 the body keeps moving. Ooh, there you go. And then with that, yeah, with that pattern, you sh it should be easier to assume the reverse field posture. Ooh, let it go. Yes. So that way, you're using these muscles more, the trunk muscles. Mm -hmm. okay. So now let's swing the rope fast. Faster than this, but it shouldn't be jerky. It should be continuous fast motion around. And then try to have control the rhythm by using the leg action. Kick, kick, or you can take small steps here as you swing back and forth. But the, uh, in the back swing, in the back swing, this is going in here. Instead, uh, yeah, yeah. your body is turning too much. So try to stay on the right side and throw. Just to simply lift the heel. But your knee never goes in. Back here. Your knee never goes in like this, but rather straight. Yeah, <laughs>
keep the, keep this position. So turn the pelvis less. Turn the pelvis less so you have a straight leg knee going this way here. Instead of knee going inward like this. Mm -hmm. Try to go more this way. Gently push the ground with the left toe. If this doesn't go in, then you will limit the pelvis turn. Mm -hmm. The automatically you will prevent uh, inward this way here. Now, come here, come here. As you swing, repeat the swing, step forward slightly. So, small steps, small steps. It doesn't have to be too big. Just here, swing, 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 swing. So come forward slightly. So as you take a step, as you take a step, the image you are taking step outward. So this never comes in here, but rather step outward, step outward, step outward, step outward, step outward. Make, make the road motion continuous, continuous. You're losing the connection here and there. Keep, keep the influence all the way. Mm. So as you do, if you have the sense that the feel of uh, taking step outward, it prevents this going in, in here. So again, go back here to on the mat. Try to keep a bit wider stance, wider than you normally do. So swing, swing back and forth, but have a wider stance. Okay. Yeah. So take always uh, practice uh, uh, the steps. When you have to take a step, then it's very different. In order to take a step and then <coughs> this has to lift, then you have to shift this side, shift to this side. Shift to this side. You have a good, good shift motion. And then the next task is I will also work on the rope a bit more. You have, you should be able to intentionally control the direction you are throwing the rope. So particularly, yeah, you need, you should be able to go more inward on this side mm. instead of going this. So if you go inward here, always your swing will be outward. Mm -hmm. So that that will dictate your swing. So if you can control voluntarily. And that control shouldn't be still inward here, and then you quickly try to turn the body. Rather, by going more this way here, higher, and then let it go. This way. You have to adjust the back in order to do that. So, uh, <clears throat> so swing inward on this side. <clears throat> Feel the, feel the motion of the rope and the see your swing plane is consistently going uh, this way here. Now square. Slide outward. Outward should be a piece of cake because you're biased to this side. Now inward. Yeah, so you should be able to control the direction you are swinging the rope. Still, you have a tendency of going uh, inward in the back swing. Yeah, so. Uh, and the rope's not hitting here. Yeah. Uh, because it's, this is a bit short for you. Yeah, yeah. But for me, it's, it's not. Um, and also, also, I bend uh, my elbow a little bit here. So uh, it'll go in more. So I would have a sort of nice finish at the end by using your arm motion here. So in order to control the direction, you really have to change the, the way you do the backswing here. So this is square. 
And if you want to go more inward here, then go more out, turn in higher, and then turn in higher, and then turn in, and then outward, go flat here, and then throw out. So you should be able to control this. That means that when you, when you have certain uh, flight pattern, so if you think you are going too, too much outward, then you can quickly adjust it.